most welcome Mr. Kim Steiner. I would like to ask you that uh, UNEP is very well appreciated by the world for the environmental stewardship, particularly the role of uh, green economy by uh, you. So how you will connect this context, context of green economy with this convention, chemical convention? Well, here in Bali, we have an extraordinary opportunity because we are trying to deal with something that on the one hand was and is a great asset for our modern economies, the chemicals and substances that we're able to deploy in our economies today that have given us a great deal of benefit have also over time become a major problem. And we know today that some substances harm human health. Some are very destructive to the environment. Our role as UNEP, the United Nations Environment Programme, the Convention Secretaries and the Member States is ultimately to ensure that human health is protected while we take advantage of these opportunities in development. Today we are talking also about e-waste, electronic waste here. Every year we are adding 40 million tons of electronic waste. Um, people are buying cell phones like never before. One billion in 2008 cell phones were sold on the world market. In a few years' time, we have this avalanche of electronic waste hitting the waste dumps of the world. We need to think about it now, and this is where the green economy becomes very interesting because we treat something as waste until we realize that that waste is actually a resource for our economy. Many of the metals and substances and materials that are in our television sets, in refrigerators, in cell phones, in pages, uh, microwaves, can be reused, they can be recycled. Instead of becoming a toxic waste on a landfill or by being recycled in, uh, in slums around the world where people don't have protective gear, the green economy will actually make a virtue out of a problem, which is to recycle, to create decent jobs, and to also enable a green economy to grow over time. Because we need these materials, we need them urgently in a world with 9 billion people. And that is what makes the green economy so much part of the solution but we have to send the right economic signals, we have to create the regulatory frameworks, we have to create decent jobs around recycling and not people who inhale the most toxic fumes because they are not able to do this job in a proper way. Can you give a small message to the civil society for the Safe Planet campaign? The Safe Planet campaign is about hazardous wastes and chemicals. It is also about making each one of us aware that it does affect our health. Whether in developed countries where some of the toxic substances found in children today are amongst the highest that have been there in history, whether it is in developing nations where people are exposed to unprotected waste and toxic waste. All of this is part of our responsibility. The Safer Planet campaign is also one where the body burden idea is that each one of us can be an indicator because if you go to a doctor and ask a laboratory to examine what substances we carry in our body, I think all of you would be surprised how many would be found in your body and how many of them you may not have expected to find in your body. So the Safer Planet campaign, the attempt to try and mobilize public awareness and also corporate and public responsibility is something that is of interest to each one of you and in which each one of you can play a part.